lessons from his journey to his success. Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple and Next, is widely regarded as a visionary entrepreneur who transformed the way we communicate, listen to music, and access information. But Jobs' success didn't happen overnight. His life was marked by both triumphs and setbacks, and his businessman acumen was honed through a combination of intuition, persistence, and risk-taking. Even as a young man, Steve Jobs had a keen sense of aesthetics and design. He was fascinated by the fusion of art and technology, and he saw the potential of computing to be more than just a tool for scientists and engineers. Welcome everyone. In today's video, we're going to be looking at inspirational life story of Steve Jobs, lessons from his journey to his success. Steve Jobs, the backstory. Steve Jobs was born in San Francisco in 1955 to Joanne Schiebel and Abdul Fattah Jandali, a Syrian immigrant. His biological parents put him up for adoption, and he was raised by Paul and Clara Jobs in Mountain View, California. As a teenager, Jobs was a rebellious but brilliant student who dabbled in electronics and tinkered with computers. Before we continue, please hit the bell icon to subscribe if you are new to this channel so you won't miss the informative videos we release in the future. In 1976, Jobs and his friend Steve Wozniak founded Apple Computer which produced the Apple I and the Apple II, two of the earliest and most successful personal computers. Jobs' marketing savvy and design sense helped Apple stand out from its competitors, and he became known for his dramatic product launches and his focus on user experience. Jobs' greatest triumph was the launch of the Macintosh in 1984, which introduced the first graphical user interface and revolutionized the way we interact with computers. However, Jobs' management style and temper led to clashes with his colleagues and board members, and he was ousted from Apple in 1985. John Scully, former CEO of Apple, said, It was a painful decision to ask Steve to leave Apple, but we felt we needed a more experienced leader to take the company forward. Steve was understandably angry and hurt, but he bounced back and started a new company, Next. Next produced high-end computers for the education and research markets but it struggled to gain traction in the competitive tech industry. However, Next Software Innovations and Expertise in Object-Oriented Programming caught the eye of another struggling company, Apple, which acquired Next in 1996. Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, says Steve's return to Apple was a turning point in the company's history. He brought back his creative energy and his obsession with making great products. Under his leadership, Apple launched a series of game-changing products such as iPod, the iPhone, and the iPad. Jobs' ability to anticipate consumer trends and his insistence on simplicity and elegance made Apple the most valuable company in the world. However, Jobs' health was also a concern as he battled pancreatic cancer and underwent a liver transplant. After the liver transplant, he had to take leave for some time and then bounce back with great energy and enthusiasm. I've had a lot of ups and downs in my life, but I'm grateful for every experience. My work at Apple has been both challenging and rewarding, and I hope that my legacy will inspire others to follow their passions and make a difference in the world. Steve Jobs' life was a testament to the power of imagination and innovation. He pushed. As we already know, Steve Jobs was an adopted child of Paul Clara Jobs. He actually was born to a Syrian guy and a woman of German Catholic descent. He was a child born out of wedlock. Though his biological father, Abdul Fattah Jandali, and his biological mother, Joanne Schiebel, loved each other. They couldn't get married when Joanne conceived Steve Jobs. Joanne's father didn't allow them until he died. Since she couldn't tell anyone she was her boyfriend, she conceived. She left Steve for adoption on one condition, that his wannabe parents would provide him a college education. After all these things, Joanne's father died and the couple joined. They had a girl named Mona. After the birth of Mona, Jandali left Joanne, and Joanne married someone else, which would explain the surname of Mona. As time went, Clara Jobs died one day because of cancer, I think, in 1986. After his mother Clara died, Steve wanted to do something that he had been postponing for a long time to search and find his biological mother, Joanne. Until Clara Jobs was alive, she had to do it. Apparently, he didn't want Paul and Clara to feel bad. So, after the death of Clara Jobs, Steve Jobs started searching for his biological mother, 
with the consent of Paul. After some weeks of searching with the help of some detectives, he found his mother, the one who gave birth to him. On seeing him, Joanne got emotional and apologized to him. Steve reassured her that it was okay, and he said he had a wonderful childhood. Through his mother, he met his biological sister, Mona Simpson, who became a very good friend of his over time. After meeting Steve, Mona Simpson got curious about their father. Though she wasn't a billionaire or millionaire at the time, like her brother, she somehow got hold of their father. She found him working at a restaurant. Mona informed Steve Jobs about their father and told him that he was gonna meet him. Jobs was clearly not interested and asked her not to tell his father about him. So Mona Simpson went and met her father one day. After all the chit chat, her father mentioned about the child he and Joanne had before Mona. Then the talk turned to the restaurant boss. Mona's father was so proud about it. He mentioned that a lot of celebrities would come there, including Steve Jobs. When asked about Jobs, apparently he said, nice guy and a generous. That's right, Steve Jobs and his biological father met each other without even knowing about their history. And then after she came back, Mona told her everything. Steve too remembered of seeing a Middle Eastern guy with a bald head in that restaurant, yet he never showed interest in seeing him. How cool is this? That's all for today's video. Feel free to share any helpful information in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.